Enjoy the outdoors at a spectacular garden in the Baltimore area. Today's Coffee Wave is about their special events coming up this spring and summer. Today, we are talking about Ledoux Topiary Gardens, a beautiful place in Moncton. And Emily Emmerich is the executive director. First of all, congratulations, Emily, on celebrating 50 years as a public garden. Thank you very much, and thanks for visiting. Got you a little piece of the garden here behind me. That is a beautiful photo. This is a nationally recognized place. You have award winning gardens. Tens of thousands of people usually come throughout the year. And it's right here in our backyard, and it's the perfect time for people to visit. Exactly. Um, Ledoux has been named one of the top 10 gardens in North America and one of the top five topiary gardens in the world. It was created by Harvey Ledoux, and 50 years ago, he made the plans to establish it as a nonprofit. Um, helped along by volunteers at the beginning and now a professional staff, including fantastic horticulturalists who care for all of these gardens and do all the topiary trimming. Um, and we're delighted that people continue to find us. Lots of people found us during the pandemic because they were looking for a local place to be outside. Um, fabulous place to come, a great date location, a great place to bring your children. Uh, we have 15 garden rooms, 22 acres of gardens, and we're delighted that we have um, been such a wonderful retreat for the community for 50 years. Talk about some of the events you have coming up, like the Artist in Residence program and the Garden Glow Festival. We do have an artist, two artists in residence this year. We have Jay Clayton Bright with his bronze statues all over the property. They are really spectacular. And there is a new special addition to that exhibit that has been added this month of June. Um, we also have a artist that does pressed botanicals, Ann Thompson, and her show, she's been collecting items in the gardens for the last year and a half. Um, she has been an artist in residence in Longwood. She has a great following. Her work is beautiful and that show will be in October and her items will be for sale. And then the Garden Glow, Go figure that the fall and Halloween are one of the biggest holidays now. People love it. We have artists from, from throughout Maryland with illuminated sculpture. We have 500 pumpkins carved and donated by ShopRite. And then we have 20 giant pumpkins that are carved by local artists. Food, beverage. Um, it is a fabulous evening. Um, and this year we're expanding it to three days. Those tickets will go on sale in September. Um, and we will have information on our webpage about those and other events this season at LeDoeGardens.com. And I encourage you to visit. It changes weekly. The gardens change and evolve and grow. Um, and we have the Nature Walk and the Butterfly House opens in late June. So lots of offerings for everyone. And we look forward to getting the house back open again. So a little bit of a return to normal. Wonderful. Again, that website is LeDoeGardens.com. Emily, thank you so much for giving us an update. Thank you very much. Lovely to see you. Come visit. Yes, we will be there soon. And we'll be right back after this with news, traffic, and weather.